Round of 16 of the Born Gosu Star League. I am your caster for tonight, Narwhal. We have two matches tonight. Unfortunately, we don't have all four due to some internal uh, problems, I guess is the best way to put it, in the league. But we do have a great TVP in uh, Skyhook versus Soundboy, followed by a ZVT in Wapsitopian versus Soretti. Let me make sure I have these on... I actually going to turn off the auto detect or the game real quick so you guys can't see that so it doesn't ruin any spoilers. Uh, R3. Cool. Okay. Hope you all are doing well tonight. Um... Wobs, you know I love you, buddy. Uh... It's been a, you know, you know, this has been stressful. Uh, let's just get into the games. We're going to start with game one of Skyhook versus Soundboy and let's hop into it. And it takes place on Frozen Temple. So let's get into this game. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope. Nope. I already screwed it up. Already screwed it up. Rip. I'm good, buddy. I already screwed it up, though. I forgot to change my... Uh, observer stuff. I think this is the one I was using. I don't remember how to use it, though, so... This should be a spicy cast. Alright. What's up, Zilly? All right, let's get back into this game. Which is game number one on Frozen Temple. And spawning in the bottom right corner, the blue Protoss. He is actually kind of new to Protoss still. He was a Zerg. Oh, Dick's out. That's right, boys. Dick's out. Uh, he is um, Soundboy. Sorry, the chat screwed me up. Did I mess? Did I mess up? And well, I'll get back into it. Sorry about that, guys. Spawning in the top left corner, the Red Terran, the King of Reapers, the guy who doesn't like to make workers. It's Skyhook. So we're gonna get on into this game. It takes out, gentlemen. Getting on in. Doesn't look like either player's trying anything too cheeky. Oh, when I say that, a pylon goes down. Hashtag never lucky. So we're going to see what Soundboy is trying to do here. Pretty quick double gas. So Stargate probably? This is a pretty good... No, no, it's too early for a Stargate. Way too early for a Stargate. Gateway's not even done. What are you doing? Anyways, on Skyhook side, he's just scouting. He's gonna walk around, basically see the or the uh, gateway, the cyber core. And on his end, he's just gonna keep macroing, really. He sees that double gas, though. The standard timing. <laughs> yeah. So he sees that double gas. He's gonna hang out in the natural. So I guess that was just a super early pylon and I'm thinking a stargate's gonna go down here I could be wrong as it looks like skyhook does know with the eBay he's gonna throw down missile turrets probably and we have more racks on the way or it could be a plus one could just be getting really lucky on his end there's a stalker what's what's this what why is this here this is really confusing me there's a stargate okay so we do see a stargate out of sound boy and Probably an Oracle. Reaper's gonna poke on in. Start picking away at some of the workers. Mothership Core shows up. Says, uh uh, leave my babies alone. Stalker pops out. And I'm pretty sure Skyhook knows what's going on. Yeah, there's the missile turret. Uh, gonna run away from this Stalker. 
But, I mean, double Stargate. Okay, so Phoenix then? I don't know. Anyways, back home for Soundboy, just really nothing. No workers. He has a Stargate. But we have plus one and Marines on their way out. A bunker going down, Marauder. Double Void Ray. Yeah, exactly. Never lucky. Exactly. It's probably going to be Double Void Ray. I hope it is, actually. Thank you, Wobs. Little battle going on I missed over here. Sorry about that. Gets the probe. Reaper stays live. You know what's better than one oracle? Two oracles. Or two voidrays. Wow. Wow, what a meme. Alright, there's an oracle. Screw you guys, I was right. But there's two oracles, so nice. Double double oracle production. I just feel like it's too late though. You have the plus one on the way, you have the marines on their way out, the multiple barracks. Three barracks, in fact. Uh, and the expansion's just going down for stuff. Always lucky. Um, the expansion's just going down for Soundboy. These oracles have to do a lot. Um, yeah, I don't really know how this is going to go. Going to pull his oracles, but is he going to get more? Yeah, okay, so he's going to send these two out, but he's going to get another one. Maybe a fourth? I don't know. We're going to poke on into the main here. His max work account, they kill two, three. I mean, you dedicate double Stargate and multiple oracles and only kill three workers? I don't know, Kev. I mean, you have your expansion going down now, but... Okay, he's going to have four oracles eventually. What are these going to... Like, they have to do something. Um, and Skyhook's going to wait around and drop his second command center. A lot of bio down there, but these oracles... I don't know, man. Burn down the command center. <laughs> Just focus the command center, I guess. Something hopped up and died. What was it? Four oracles kill a turret. Okay, well, these oracles are going home because they saw the bio, and this bio is going to start marching across. And, I mean, I don't know, man. That's a lot of oracles, and pylons are good, but that's also a lot of bio. Combat shields and stem is almost done. They do already have plus one, and they already got a pylon overcharge forced out just for a reaper. Don't know if that... I mean... I was concerned that our remembered pylons are a great unit. Yeah, exactly. He has plenty of overcharges, and these warpins are definitely going to hold steady for everything. And Skyhook's going to move in here. A lot of oracles, pylons. Going to focus... Nope, Militia Core gets out of there. And yeah, I mean... I don't know, man. Only one pylon. Is that a little salt I see, Wobs? Uh, Soundboy holds. I don't... I don't think that was really question, a question if he was or not. Yeah, those oracles just fried everything. I mean, four oracles, you really can't... You, you, you can't move into that, especially with bio with no medivacs. Uh, plus one armor is almost done for the Terran. He already has plus one attack. The upgrades currently set zero to one oh, soon to be one one. These oracles are going to move on in here, though, and focus on this bunker. Oracles... Has one fallen yet? Good micro. Pulls back the weak one. Uh, the marauders take down everything, but there's nothing that shoots up now. And this multiple oracle army is just going to come in and kind of wipe. There's no... Oh, there's no missile turret in the natural. Uh-oh. This... Yeah, this... No! Fucking get... Stop the missile... I mean, get the workers, but stop the missile turret. Stop it. Stop... Oh, wow. Like 90%. Ouch. And cancel. And yeah, this... uh. This natural is not really going to do anything for Skyhook at the moment. But these oracles don't have, or many of the oracles don't have energy left. Is there one of them? I think one of them has a little bit. This stalker's got to get out of there. Not a bad trade for, uh, for Soundboy. He's definitely in the lead with 31 army to 8. But these oracles hold a lot of army supply. And like I said, most of them are out of energy at the moment. Got these marines here, but... 
Oh, man. These oracles are going to poke in, just fly around for uh, cheerleading support, basically. And these marines are going to try and hold their way in the main, but this natural, I just don't think it's... He's, he can't get any value from it right now. These oracles turn back on. Oh, they're going to focus down the command center. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh, wow. So they're... GG. All right, and that is game, uh, that's game number one. A very interesting style out of Soundboy. I'm going to keep the uh, game capture off in this overlay just because I don't want to, like, spoil anything in the replays. So we're going to hop into game number two where Skyhook has to win if he wants to have any chance of making it to the round of eight. So... Let's get on into it. Game number two is on Ohana. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm sure that's what Samboy was thinking. And let's get on into the intros. Spawning in the bottom right corner. Uh, he lost to a pretty weird style last game. And he has to win if he wants any chance of making it to round of eight. It's... Wait, why, isn't there, why aren't my keys working? Okay, there we go. It's Skyhook. And... Apparently, his brother's the king of Re reapers, but he's the king of oracles. Our blue Protoss. Let's see if he can close it out here. Soundboy. So, I wonder if there's going to be any more, like, cheeky pylons coming from uh, Soundboy this game. But, Skyhook has a pretty good plan of what he's doing, I guess. He knows he wants to expand. Or maybe just put down a forward uh, racks for some Reapers. But the worker is going to come on in, poke around. And on his side of the map, nothing real weird. No early second gas or anything. Looks like he's going to go down and actually take a second. Or no? No, he's going to send out for a cheeky pylon. Never lucky. All right. Mm, cool. So... This probe's going to go somewhere and do something. This SCV is going to make his way across the map. And let's see what they do. <laughs> Never okay, I have, have wobs to count. So, SCV is going to poke in, see nothing at the natural. Go into the main and have a look. And the pylon, it goes down not too close to the base this time, but close enough to Skyhook. The probe is still in there, giving a hard time. And Skyhook goes go ahead and drops his natural or his nat his command center into the natural. Yeah, can't talk there. Reaper is gonna clean up this probe before he makes his way across the map. Oh, sorry, on the production up. Oh, cancels that. Drops the factory over here, and Reaper is gonna chill in the base. Oh, nope, there we go. Cool, gonna move on out. And what do we have? I mean, this SCV is kind of chilling, so he can poke in and look around. The natural drops, but what's going here? Another Stargate? What's up to the eight people watching? Damn, what's up, guys? Oh, I was going to say, I hope it's a robo, and it is a robo. I'm not even sad I'm wrong. Right on. So I wonder what uh, Soundboy has planned here. Like a really fast warp prism or some immortals. I don't know, man. Let's see. I don't even care that I'm wrong that time. That's like 0.5 because I'm not even sad about it. Like half the points me being pissed about not being lucky. This one I'm just not even mad about it. Reaper's going to poke on into the main. Not going to get a chance to see anything. Yeah, the stalker and mothership core are able to get it down together. And... Okay. Gateway and Robo. Alright. So. What we'll see out of Soundboy is, I have no idea, but what we're going to see out of Skyhook is a pretty macro Terran, which I'm not upset about. But we're going to have to see if he's able to hold whatever Soundboy has planned for him. Hmm. Wait, is it the control click that works? 
Oh, no, that was a ping. Rip. Sorry about that ping. Ignore that. I'm trying to remember how you... Is it shift click? <laughs> yeah, Sky is a standard player. All right, so there's the gateway, the robo and gate on that side. We have the immortals popping out. All right. I think that was the probe that he killed. And an observer, now that the immortal's out, we're warping in. Uh, we're making the gateway into a warp gate, and we're going to warp in some units and push into Skyhook. But Skyhook has a pretty decent setup, I think. I mean, as long as he takes down the immortal, which is like the huge threat, everything else should be pretty easy to clean up with the Widow Mines. But let's see what Soundboy has planned. All right, Stalkers and Immortals. So yeah, as long as he is able to focus down the Immortal, I don't think these Stalkers are going to be the biggest issue. He doesn't have Blink, right? Yeah, no. He doesn't even have a Twilight, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no Twilight. Okay. Skyhook has to hear this. Okay, he's going to send the Marines over here. He's going to be like, hey, this isn't cool. My rocks are getting broken down. The Widow Mines that were being sent across the map are on their way back. That was a little spooky. You don't want to leave a medevac while Widow Mine's just sitting around some stalkers. I'm gonna go ahead and scan, but he really can't get the observer. So, I don't know. That scan was kind of wasted. The tank is on it. It made its way out, though. And the lib is here, and there's Widow Mines, and the army's, army count is actually in Samboy's favor. But, yeah, yeah the widow, I think the Widow Mines were just too much. And the, the home defense. I mean, this is all nice, but you have, like, you had to really hope Skyhook just made zero units. Oh, Skyhook is sending some units out, though, and Samway has no intention of really stopping, or does he? Because he just pulled back. Cool, never lucky. Never lucky for. On Soundboy's side of the map, he drops more gateways. Another Immortal's on the way. And, yeah, I mean, I feel that his time to hit was then. And there's really, no, uh, just the more he delays, uh, the worse it's going to be. Because Skyhook has production going down. I mean, four overcharges. Yeah. But, I mean, it's all about the execution. This medevac's gonna move on in. There's those overcharges, and yeah, they're just gonna do work. Oh, the the widow mine does burrow in the in the uh, mineral line. How many kills does it get? I I don't remember how to click on or select a unit. Ah, oh, shoot. Rip. Medevac makes its way out with only two marines, but it does leave that widow mine in the mineral line. Oh no, where are these probes going? Wait, why? Oh, my, did he double click and not? Okay, wait, no, there's a lib. Rip. Pay attention, caster. Uh, so there's more adepts, stalkers, double immortal on this side of the map, but. Yeah, man, I mean, weird game. I'm not the best PvT caster at the moment. I am main Zerg and don't do too well in the other races, so sorry about my lack of casting here. Wobs, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will get better on these matchups and I will be much better in this uh, next Zerg series or Zerg vs. Saren. Oh, the wall drops! Ballsy. The uh, Depth Immortal Stalker composition is going to make its way up, but the tank is kind of covering the ramp on both areas, so I don't. It's going to be pretty hard to make their way up, especially through a choke like that. Soundboy does have his third almost up though, and Skyhook's third is still kind of chilling in his main. Dropping more mules. Skyhook hasn't hit his number yet. He still has two workers to go before he stops worker production. Um, another robo, okay. Stem plus one, libs, um, tanks, marines, all the good stuff on the way for Skyhook. I feel pretty comfortable for him, even though he doesn't really have his third planted. Because there's a lot of product, like a robo and a gateway. The gateway, I guess you could live with losing, but losing a robo is not fun, man. Not fun at all. 
Yep, and Skyhook's gonna go and take it out. No more of that nonsense. Scan drops at the third. That third is heavily oversaturated. Oh. Nothing's really returned to the main yet. The lib just got shut down in the natural. And Skyhook's gonna go ahead and clean up all the production that was over here for Soundboy. Took down the workers a little bit. Still 21. Eh. Does not does not feel good, man. The army supply though, 65 to 37. I think Skyhook realizes his lead, maybe. If he does, he would push out. Because he still has his third, but I mean he had it for a while. It's just Soundboy was a little more aggressive in taking it. I thought that was a meme. No, dude. Every game you can check. He won't make workers after 37. It just doesn't happen, man. If it does, it's a mistake. These, uh, this army is going to make its way over across the map now. He does recognize that army value with almost, uh, actually 25. And they're going to engage here. Pretty good concave for the bio. And I mean, the lid sets up and just kind of takes down everything. GG. And Skyhook does tie it up and we are going to go to our ace match for this uh, decider series of group C, I believe it is. Nice. All right. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab one drink of water and I'll be right back. All right, let's hop into uh, game number three of Soundboy versus Skyhook on Akalon Waste. This decides uh, who plays, who, does, who do they play? The winner of this plays, hmm. Oh, Banana Kex. Banana Kex, a Zerg from uh, Group A. So, I hope they've been practicing those matchups as well. Anyways, spawning in the bottom right corner, winning last game, holding off cheese and just, you know, macroing it out like he never does usually. It's our red Terran. Wait, what? No, cancel. Sorry. Can never do the intros, right? It's our red Terran. Skyhook. And spawning in the top left corner. He won game number one with some really cheeky oracles. Game number two, couldn't really do it with the Proxy Immortals. Let's see if he can still pull it out. The blue Protoss. Soundboy. Alright. So, I mean... Oh, I forgot I always start at uh, 8 p.m. Oh, we got that fast second gas again from uh, Soundboy. I was going to say we were going to go pretty normal. I didn't say it though, so I'm not never lucky this time. Wobs, you can't count this one. Anyways, fast second gas from Soundboy. Uh, Skyhook does have a pretty quick SCV scout coming in though, so he's gonna be able to scout that gas and maybe get an idea of what's going on or gonna be coming his way in the near future. On Skyhook's end though, it looks like he's gonna be take. No, 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 no. I didn't say it, Wobs. No, stop it. No, I didn't say it. Anyways. Skyhook, it looks like Skyhook's going to take a pretty fast uh, natural command center. And yep, that's going to go ahead and drop. Make And the SCV is going to make his way into the natural. He's going to see the early gas, the uh, cybernex core gateway, all the basic stuff. So he's going to be able to just decide what he's going to do from here. Get what he needs. No, you're abusing your power now, Wobs. This is why you're not admin. You go power hungry and out of control. Anyways, uh, SCV is going to poke its way around. I think it's going to ch maybe chill in the main to try and see if he can get a later scout and go unnoticed for now, like a spy behind enemy lines. Spooky. He's the soldier. I don't think this might be... Oh, no, the stalker's going to get it. All right. Anyways, Marines are out. Bunker is on its way. Factory. Double gas. Mob's never admin one one. <laughs> yep, that's it. 
And anyways, the second base for Skyhook's about to finish up. Like I said, Bunker's on its way about halfway done. But Soundboy, Twilight Council, and Robo. Uh-oh. This is spooky. This is spooky. I don't like this. Soundboy does cheeky things, and you can do cheeky things with an early Twilight Robo combo. Reaper's kind of just poking around the map, checking for any proxies. I mean, he has a pretty good right to. There's been proxies in the last two games. So, does, wants to make sure he doesn't die to anything stupid that he did previously. This is for the round of eight. Loser, it get, doesn't make it. They're, they're out of the league. For this season, at least. So, we got Resonating Glaives. Alright, it's not a DT build. I was pretty spooked about a DT build coming his way. That'd be a pretty uh, crazy build to do. Skyhook's going to continue making, uh, just making what he needs. Any workers? No. Skyhook doesn't need workers. He's good with 22. Liberators and tanks. Loser's not off the team. He's off the league. Not team. <laughs> Skyhook's going to drop another barracks. Going to get the defense he needs, basically, to set up and... Get further on in the game to a point where he's comfortable and can attack. Got a bunker and a tank set up in the back, so it seems pretty safe for now. More marines on the way. Lib just finished. Double, uh, double missile turret. So he knows something's on the way, but I don't think he's going to need a missile turret in his mineral lines, unfortunately. Those war prisms aren't really going to fly there. The observer is going to make its way into the natural. Soundboy side, basically doing the same thing. I just poked myself in the eye. That I, I was going to try and just like play it off and keep casting because you can't. I, my webcam's not on this scene, but no, I just poked myself in the eye. That's not. That wasn't fun. I can see more gateways being dropped. Okay. But damn, that hurt. All right. A lot of gateways. Huge gateway explosion. Um, Resonating Glaze is about to finish up. And Warp Prism's out. It's going to make its way across the map now. The Observer did get spotted for a little bit. He got that front missile turret next to the bunker. Oh, he got a missile turret coming on this side too. All right, this is good. He's going to scan and... Oh, is he going to get the Observer? Oh, never lucky Skyhook. Rip. This missile turret... It's in such a good space. It's in such a good place though. Probably going to warp in right here and try and drop, but... I don't know, man. Skyhook's got those missile turrets set up. The Observer survives, so it's making its way back into the main, checking out what's going on. But, I mean, it looks like Soundboy's kind of relying on this. How many gates does he have? Eight. This is a pretty big push. He's pretty dedicated. He's more dedicated to this than I'm dedicated to the team. Oh, he warped in one extra adept. Rip. Rip on. Rip on, lonely adept. Make your journey. I don't know where your journey will take you, but go. Be free. Anyways, his brothers are going to make it either way into the natural and be greeted by some missile turrets. Or the natural main, excuse me. Really can't do anything. My dog might be barking Um, in the background. You might hear that, so sorry about that. This uh, warp prism can't really do much. There's a pretty gnarly uh, missile turret ring set up. That doesn't really... Oh my gosh, look at this. Can I get all five in the frame? It can. Yeah, it's gonna just try and do something, but... Oh, doesn't even get all four depths out. It can't It can't move its way back in. The second it moves in, it's dead. And, and kill, they kill that. Okay, but there's still bio, so... Oh, that range. That freaking range, man. But this medevac... I, uh, don't, you don't attach it? Come on. You gotta chase down that warpism at all costs. Anyways, the two adepts... I guess he found her brother. All right, the two adepts and the stalker are kind of chilling in the front, but they really can't poke up because there's a liberator, a tank, and a bunker. So yeah, I mean, this attack, man, he's dropping a third, but he dedicated a lot to this. And he's gonna try and macro out of it by dropping double robo and double stole. Oh, this pylon, this pylon right here, has such a job. Double Robo, double Stargate, three Warp Gates. Huh. 
You got you, this. This pylon's working like triple overtime right now. Damn. Huge war, uh, adept warp in. I guess just shade and adepts and you win, right? Especially when they have resonating glaives. A scan goes down to check. There's a third, but oh, these adepts finish. They do take down the tank, and oh, this uh, gets kind of spooky quick. Uh, the medevacs are helping out. The lib is kind of chilling in the front. I kind of would like to see the lib re Okay, there we go. Uh, the marauders are shelling away. Really n not much yet, but that did get a little spooky that for a second. I didn't think that. Oh, and the huge warp. Where did that come from? Okay, I'm not doing a good job casting today. I'm sorry. Uh, and yeah, these are these adepts. Uh, they're uh, they're nice, but again, I just there's too there's too much out. One once that push got turned away the or the attack got turned away the first time, and he's just gonna try and bash adepts against the wall, literally. I guess. Oh, I guess not gonna cancel right there. Um, but yeah, the worker count currently sits in his in Soundboy's favor by 16. So he did macro out of it, but. I don't know, man. The army supply. Wow. All right. So, Soundboy did manage to pull a game out of this, even though going for eight gates at first. And now Skyhook kind of has to do something to make sure he doesn't lose any more workers. Like this. But also have enough army to kind of take him on later in the game. These adepts are kind of do try and do something, but is this wall going to get raised? Oh, no. The adepts get into the main. Oh, wow. All right, but there's a tank there. Gonna hop on top of the tank and focus it down. And, oh, these workers. Uh, it's almost a 20 worker lead right now. It's 19 workers. There's 20. 21, 22. Shade into, oh, okay, they didn't get out into the natural. That's lucky for Skyhook. Uh, these adepts are gonna get caught here by these marauders. And is he going to continue to warp in at all? Does he have... I mean, he has the money. He's floating almost 3,000 minerals right now. Oh, 800 gas. Wow. This pylon. And a dark shrine. This pylon is... This pylon is the MVP of the game. It's not even Soundboy. It's this pylon allowing so much work to be done by Soundboy. And Skyhook's going to go ahead and put his army out of his natural... Maybe go ahead and push across the map. I mean, he kind of has to. He's down 20 workers. Uh, he has an army lead by 11, but Soundboy's floating so much money. I mean, floats in a lot of zealots, but there's no charge for these zealots, is there? Uh, no, there's not. They can kind of be kited for days, I feel. Robo Bay almost done. Fleet Beacon on the way. Three mortals at a time and a dark shrine. Holy Protoss. This, this production right here is Protoss in one freaking image. <laughs> Uh, the bio is going to move their way in and focus down these pylons, maybe get the natural and be able to get out. The lib's going to go ahead and choke off this point, but I feel the setup was a little too late. Yeah, he's not able to get anything. Uh, going to go ahead and kite back the zealots, but there's adepts as well, and adepts are pretty good, especially with uh, resonating glaives. But nonetheless, these marauders are going to clean it up, and oh, this bio. Real nice bio by uh, Skyhook. Heavy Marauder comp that's just kind of shredding everything. But these immortals, well, three immortals at a time. This is where it gets spooky. I don't know, man. Uh, they did. Skyhook did go ahead and take down the third base, but he's still down ten workers. And these immortals are getting focused down, but one does survive. And now the army lead is still in Skyhook's favor. All right. Uh, these eight gates, I don't know what Soundboy's doing with them. Does he not have gas? He's gas broke. Uh-oh. I mean, you can have all the production you want, but if you don't have the economy for it. Uh-oh. War Prism's going to try and make its way across again, but, I mean, these missile turrets didn't disappear. They're still here, so. He's going to make his way into the third, though. There's no missile turrets there. No, you can do it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. It's your time, War Prism. It's your time to shine. And I guess Soundboy feels it's his time to push across the map now. He is actually down in army supply, though, by a pretty heavy amount. I mean, not too heavy, but enough that it's not smart to move out whatsoever. 
Uh, Skyhook's gonna try and open up the path to his third. He has the rock shut down, so he can't get a direct path in by, uh, or Soundboy can't get a direct path in. The War Prism's gonna set up and warp in four Depths and a Stalker, but the army supply 20 in the, or in the lead of, in favor of Skyhook by 20. The bio is out of position though, so if uh, Soundboy makes his way up, he could get a concave. Nope, bio moved his way back. Never lucky. <laughs> is, the, is there not? Oh, I shouldn't go away from the battle. Anyways, this battle is going to set up. Oh, there's one disruptor. This could be the hit. Nope, gonna micro it, gonna micro it back. So this disruptor is out of the game for a little bit. This bio is gonna make its way up. There's gonna be an attempted warp warp in. Does it happen? Yeah, three adepts are gonna make their way into the battle, but oh the mule drop, no third. How the salt. It was probably the dedicated attack. Uh, and Skyhook takes the game. So Skyhook will be advancing from the round of 16 group C to face banana ke banana and Kex in the round of eight. And that will be a TVZ. And that was some really good games. So let's get back to that screen. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Cool. Yeah, I know. Anyways, our last match for the night is going to be a ZVT, actually. It's going to be Wobzatopian versus Soretti. Um, I am going to... Poof, go away for a second. I'm going to... Well, no. He, no, he kind of scouted it. He saw it with the warp prism. He just didn't warp in right there. I think he saw it. But I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music, run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Uh, love you guys. See you in a second. Stay tuned. Form a stripper tipper. Yeah. Her mama said that she should kick it with a better ninja. Yeah. Her daddy hates on run the jewels and don't like Michael Render. Monogamy ain't me, but promise if we add a member. Ooh. I stay faithful from November on the next December. No average marriage, but your life will be such an adventure. Iced out in Iceland in the blue lagoon, dead of the winter. Stop listening till you lose a family, come fuck with a winner. I'm from a city where having a heart is not suggested. I'm a maverick, a tapping backs, I'm a savage inventor. I'm cleaning braces with tongue and back in the back of dentures. Even a bare skin rug in the living room could get it. Don't be mad at me, I'm just joking and grab some attention. But really, fact of the matter, I cut a pinky off and slide across. The table just to get into the room that you undress in. I fight a fucking Wookiee just to bend it. Please don't knock over my heart. Cause my heart is full of you. Yeah, my heart is full of you. I don't worry about tomorrow. Cause my heart is full of you. Yeah, my heart is full of you. All right, let's get back into these games. Excuse me. All right. Uh, 
So we're going to hop into game number one of the second and last match of the day, Wabzatopian versus Seredi. It is a ZVT on Ohana. Let's hop right into it. All right. Spawning in the bottom right corner, the blue Terran. He's, uh, he's been a part of Born Gosu for a while, and he's excelled a lot recently. It's really nice to see. Let's see if he can make it to the round of eight. It's Seredi. And spawning in the top left corner, he is a uh, professional speedrunner. He'll like that. He's a professional speedrunner for an indie game. Uh, he is a Zerg player. He doesn't like bailings, which is a massive mistake. It's Wobzatopian. All right. So I will little I will know much more about this matchup than I did the previous one, and I can give a lot of insight into what Wobs is doing, whether it be really crazy like most of his builds are. <laughs> He's bailings in all these games. How great! Hatch gas pool, pretty basic opening from the Zerg. And oh, sorry, I'm not zoomed out. Um, got the barracks gas from the Terran, so it looks like it's gonna be a pretty standard game for right now. I love Ohana, man. It's such a pretty map. It's probably one of my favorites. I love all the green, so pretty. Probably one of my favorites. I love the ocean as well. Anyways. Yep, I'm just going to continue with the basic openings from both players. Uh, really, not too too much exciting stuff going on. I mean, we can kind of hang out and talk for a bit. How are you guys doing? You guys doing well? You enjoying my bad casting? You get to enjoy it more when I put it on YouTube later, and then you can listen to it over and over and over. Uh, anyways, the... Natural for Wobs is going to go ahead and finish up. The pool is done. Speed is going to start. Queens are on the way as well as a pair of Zerglings. Okay, two pairs. There we go. Usually want to start with two, at least at least two, if not three. Some people prefer three. And it looks like Wobs is one of those guys. On Seredi's end, the, na the command center is halfway done. That is natural. The Reaper is going to go ahead and poke in. Not fully yet. It's going to go ahead and chill for a second right in front of his natural. The lings are set up in the main and the natural to deflect wherever they jump up. Reaper is going to go ahead and get into the main. Probably circle the mineral line and get out of there. Yep, just going to make sure there's nothing weird going on. Drops a grenade. Gets a little damage on a few lings. Starts to kite back, but starts to take some damage of his own. So he has to get out of there. These two lings are kind of chilling to trap him though. Oh, they just move right out of the way. Rip, never lucky wobs. Uh, queens, a third on the way. And yeah, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Early tech lab on the barracks, so it's looking like he's going to go for an early stem timing, maybe. There's stem, so. Hmm. Wonder what he's aiming for. Maybe like a two medevac, uh, 16 marine drop. Maybe 14 marines, or was it 12 and 2 widow mines? Is that it? Yeah, widow mines are 2 supply each, I think. I don't know. Could be all these different possibilities. But we will see as the game progresses. Mules are being dropped. Terran things are happening. Starport's almost done. Bunker on the way for the natural wall. More queens on the way for wobs. His third's almost done. An evo chamber just dropped as well as a second gas. Oh, double evo. Okay. So maybe one one ling bane. Wobs gave some insight saying he used bailings in every game this match. So maybe like a one one ling bane timing with some mutas later on if the one one lings don't kill him. There is the bailing nest. The gas, second gas is going to get filled. Oh, sorry about that. A little bit of oversaturation in his natural, but yeah, you know, nothing too terrible. On Shreddy's end. The factory is going to go ahead and float. Where? Where are you going? I guess I wasn't going. Okay, there we go. 
Just gonna drop and throw down a tech lab. So some tanks on the way, maybe. Tank marine. I don't know, man. Interesting things coming out already. Sorry about that. I really need to get a wind pop filter for this mic. I've just been. I have to order it off Amazon and. I'm being lazy and I just prefer to go to a store and yeah, I mean, you know, anyways, back to the game, uh, Queens creep spread third base down more workers one, one on the way layer about ha a little over halfway done. So we'll probably see that Ling Bane Muta composition got the double gas, the natural haven't filled them yet though. Cause why do that? Just, you, you can make them and those are pretty cool. All right. So we got 22 workers now. All right, there we go. Now we filled them. All right, so four gas, layer almost done, one, one on the way. There's the spire. No bailing. Okay, bailing speed, never lucky, number three or seven or whatever I'm at. And there's a double drop coming out of Soretti, going to hit the main. No units in the main, really. Uh, 20 lings on the way, though, so this is going to really be able to deflect. But going to take a little bit of damage first before these lings clean it up. Okay, wob has got it. Thanks, buddy. These lings, uh, they won't do well versus kind of marines. Yeah, um, you kind of need bailings, buddy. Oh, well, if he fights with eight marines at a time. These queens, though. Uh-oh. This, uh, this medevac. Oh, no. This medevac. Oh, the medevac with the full with the full uh, marine count gets shot down. Is this, uh, is this, oh, okay, the second one at least gets out, but it only has one marine. Fifteen marines go down and a medevac. For what? Like a canceled spire. Oh wow, that's uh, that's not fun, man. That was really good. That was really lucky for Wobs. He uh, it's gonna do him well later on. His economy really didn't get too damaged. But is there another spire going up? That's the question. There isn't. We're gonna have two two melee on the way and an infestation pit. So I wonder what made Wobs say no. I'm not gonna put another spire back up. That's uh. That's weird. These lings are gonna make their way across the map though, or they're not? Nope, they're just gonna chill out front and make a lot of bailings. I don't think he saw Soretti move out with anything, so I don't know why the bailings are being made on this side of the map. I mean, bailing speed is done, so it's not like they'll, tra they'll trail behind. Oh, you never realize you lost it. Rip. Uh, all right, so we have a lot of bailings on the map, 14. They have speed and hive is just starting now we have queen ling bane moving out well not moving out but being present on the map any overseers yet no no overseers sready side his thirds finishing up marine tank production continues a lot more barracks on the way three meow meow uh liberators kind of chilling outside the natural these lings and bailings are going to kind of move up and they can have a pretty good time if they just attacked. But why do that, right? Can we follow? There we go. No fourth in sight for Wobs yet. But his hive is almost done and 2 2 is almost finished. And we have a lot of Zerglings on the way. And this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, these bail. This wraparound. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, th this is just going to clean everything up. That was really harsh to get caught out on the map with unseached tanks. Like, if they were picked up, that was one thing. But, nah, that was that was not good for Soretti. And more bailings are going to be made. And I wish Wob smelt blood in the water and kind of knew just to push. Because I think if he continued, he could have out... Like, he would have beat the Liberators, obviously. So he could have gotten in there a little bit faster. And I think he could have ended the game earlier. But he still is in a very big lead. So he could take his time if he wanted to. Uh, Ultralist, Ultralist Cavern on the way. Um, I always want to say Ultralist Den. I don't know why. Wobs is a macro zerg, duh. Yeah, of course. He doesn't want to end the game too early. He needs the macro first just to get his filthy pleasure out of it. Um, but these queens are going to keep spreading a ridiculous amount of creep. This map is covered in creep so far. I mean, this side right here is kind of empty. But the rest of the map, damn covered all right finally a fourth drop for wobs pretty late fourth he could have dropped that a while ago um but it's here better late than never i guess and kindness plating starts up 
And do we have any 3 3 insight or adrenal glands? I don't think so. Nope. Four ultras on the way. The zerglings and bailings are going to poke in, but this bio is stepping on creep, and they're being a little bold stepping on creep. Unkillable ultras. Hey, Shine, um, can you tell us how you really feel about ultras? Because I'm pretty curious. These links and bailings are going to move on in. They're going to pretty much surround everything and move on into these tanks. These libs are setting up, but. One, they're not great against Zerglings because they move so fast. And two, there's just too many of them for them to be effective. And, oh no. I mean, the fourth is on its way, but this third is about to get ravaged. All these workers are just... Okay, mineral lock them. Alright. Not too bad. Loses a few, but still loses a pretty good amount of army that he really didn't want to lose. These Ultralisks are on the map now. They are here. They're waiting for Kiteness Blinking to be done. Eight workers on the way. Two more Ultralisks on the way. Uh, and I mean... Uh, you can't move out on this creep. Shreddy's being extra confident, and it's really showing just no mercy on him. Uh, army supply currently 81 to 50 in favor of Wobbitopian. The wall is down. They're going to get on top of the tanks or run. Nope. Okay, there we go. They're going to get on top. Good call. And they're just going to start chomping and chewing away. Z Zerglings and Lings. I mean, it's, uh, it's too much. It's too much at this point, unfortunately. It looks like Wobbs is going to take game number one of this decider match for Group D. GG! And yes, Wobbs does take game number one. And we are going to move on into game number two. Ultralisk! Alright. So... Let's hop into game number two, and that's on merry-go-round. And if Shreddy wants to have a chance to make it to the round of eight, he has to win this. It's I don't think it's a bad map for Terran. I don't really remember m many games on it. I mean, I was like gold when this map was around, so I can't give too much insight into like, uh, oh no, quit. Watch solo. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hop into game number two of Wobzatopian versus Soretti on merry-go-round. And yeah, guys, Soretti has to win this if he wants any chance of making it to round of eight, so give him your energy. And speaking of Soretti, spawning in the top right corner, the blue Terran, like I said, he needs to win it, so cheer him on. No, I cancel. Cheer him on, it's Soretti. Sorry about that. I always forget to click back into StarCraft before I do my intros, so when I hit, like, end and delete for, um, the camera panning and all that, uh, it deletes this, it tries to delete the scene first. Anyways, getting past that, back into these intros. Spawning in the top left corner, he, uh, he's the macro zerg. He likes to build up a lot of ultralists and kill his opponent that way. Earlier is not acceptable, he needs ultralists. It's the purple zerg. If he can close it out here, he makes it to the round of eight. It's Wobbs. Or Wobbsatopian, I should say. Anyways, it looks like Wobbs is going to go for that hatch gas pool basic opening again. And it looks like Shreddy's going to go for a basic uh, barracks gas opening as well. And yeah, I mean, merry-go-round. It's an interesting map, definitely. But uh, I'm so glad it's gone. I mean, interesting is me being caster nice about it. I freaking hated this map. But yeah, I mean, we'll see what it we'll see what happens. It has a pretty big ramp, so Wobbs has a chance for like some Ling bailing memes. Maybe like a big bailing bus off three base or something. Um, but wait, no, he can't. He has to get Ultras to win. So we'll probably see an attack followed by a pullback into macro to Ultras if Wobbs does decide to win this game. Uh, but Shreddy is going to go ahead and try and get that command center up and running at his natural. So he can get the economy he needs in the big bio army to kill every Zerg on the map. Or in the game, I should say, because Terran always beats Zerg. Except for the last game, don't, don't count that one. Reaper's going to go ahead and make its way across the map. It's going to go in the right direction. I don't believe Shreddy, uh, SCV scouted, so... Lucky for him that he's sending it in the right direction, uh, first guess. And the Reaper is going to make its way into the natural, probably into the main. Yeah, alright. But Wobbs does have Lings out, and I forgot to switch it to production this whole time. I am very sorry about that. Um, Reaper is going to make its way around the mineral line, start to chip away at some workers. Oh no, oh, spooky, queen. Yeah, no, that Reaper goes down pretty early. That's unfortunate for, uh... 
for Shreddy. What that means for Wobs, though, is he can go for a really big Ling Bailing meme. And if Shreddy doesn't waste a scan to see what's going on, he can probably get away with it. Or he can go for that early third and get away with it as well. Either is a really viable strat. Um, but losing that Reaper really early is always super, super um, unfortunate for the Terran because all their scouting kind of just goes out the window unless they use a scan instead of dropping a mule. But we do have the swap over to the uh, reactor for the factory and Hellion production is going to start. Starport is halfway done. Like we saw, the third is on its way for Wobbsatopian and Queens as well. Some Zerglings are going to make their way across the map and try and poke into Soretti's natural. That bunker's empty. And these, oh no. So that's like probably the best engagement those Zerglings could have gotten on those Hellions. No, do they really, oh my gosh, those Zerglings get in. They already killed off two Hellions and a Marine. How many workers are they gonna get? One, all four here, I'm pretty sure. Three. No, go for the worker. Or a third Hellion. Oh, no. It's ready. Okay, so four workers, a Marine, and three Hellions are taken down by six Zerglings. This Marauder is going to make its way out. It should be able to clean up all three of these Zerglings rather easily. Um, but, damn. These are, yeah, I mean, Wobs smell blood in the water. More Zerglings are on the way. They're going to flood their, they're going to flood their way across. And, oh, you get some more surrounds on the Hellions and more, oh, more surrounds on everything. And it's not going well for, uh, for Seretti right now. These Zerglings are going to start chewing away at the main wall and also clean up any excess workers at the natural. Forces a lift at the natural. We're going to go ahead and repair the factory and the top uh, supply center or supply depot, but that's not what he needs. All right, Liberator's out, so the ramp will be secure. I don't think Balance will be able to poke in. Yeah, all right, Wobs recognize that and cancels it. But he doesn't cancel. Okay, there we go. At the last second, he does cancel it. Uh, that got pretty lucky. Though, wow, those original six work or six lanes go. They got way too much. Worker count is currently 37 to 29 in, oh, 36 to 29, excuse me, uh, in favor of Wobbsatopian. Army supply in the lead by Wobbs as well by 11. Uh, layers on its way to evolution chambers. Uh, pretty much everything for Wobbs that he needs. And we have some Hellbats and Marauders being held in the main of Seretti, but uh, I mean... If they don't clean up, if they just run past these, if they don't clean up these lings, oh no. They, he needs to drop right here and clean up these lings. Wobbs can, yeah, Wobbs can definitely hold. Or Wobbs is going to go back. All right. I definitely think since Wobbs saw that, he would, I, or at least I would have made some Zerglings at home and like pulled my Queens to hold that attack and still busted at the main. Cause, but you know, Wobbs, he, he can't attack too early. It just can't happen. He needs to pull back and give him time. Like he needs to have like as a viable excuse to get Ultra Scout, I guess. Oh, you need to drop in the circle of the Liberator. Yeah, these Lings are going to go ahead and clean up these Hellbats pretty easily. And this, uh, oh, this Liberator unfortunately goes down as well. Spore Callers being made in the Mineral Lines. Oh, I'm sorry, I turned off the production. 1-1 one, one on the way. Spore Callers in the Mineral Lines. Um, not many workers at the third yet. These Zerglings are going to chill out front. But, I mean, I feel the damage has been done. Bailing speed on the way for Wobs. Uh, 22 lings, an infestation pit. This creep spread, queens and lings, it's, I, this damage is just too much, I feel. Lings are going to make their way out, and they're going to try and morph into hellbats. Take some excess damage that they really didn't need to, because they kind of morph right in front of the zerglings. And GG, Wobs just is able to really take it down with zerglings, and he moves out of group D in second place, and he is going to face... Who's he face first? Group D plays group B. Group B's first place was Ulkin. So Wobs is going to play Ulkin. All right. So, okay, guys, those are the two matches we had for the decider matches in the round of 16. Again, sorry for the other two. Just internal issues didn't allow for uh, those games to really happen at all in the first place. Um, we do have all the spots filled for the round of eight, though, so don't worry about that. I should switch it back. My bad. Um, G yeah, GG's to all the players. Um, but really good games. We're going to have, like I said, all players in the round of eight. 
we'll have those casted maybe this weekend i didn't get this really set until just now so i don't know if i want to ask the players to play this weekend it's kind of too soon i think uh, if it's, if they want to play then we'll definitely do it this weekend and i'll try to do as many games lives live as possible i'll try and set up uh a schedule with the the round of eight players tomorrow or tonight if any of them are around but yeah be sure to follow the channel for any future games we try and cast these around the weekend when we're on time if you do miss them on here they'll be on youtube uh the born Gosu channel on youtube pretty much all the same stuff be sure to follow check us out on chobo if you want to participate other than that uh thanks for tuning in guys uh yeah have a great night uh again thanks really good really fun cast and peace later